Houston apartment locator. Your first time home buyer specialist. Um, so this video is about marketing. Um, I am going to talk about ways that you can be consistent with your material, your image, um, you know, your aura, your persona, whatever you want to call your thing, yourself or your business or your vibe, whatever word you like to use. Um, so, um, basically consistency is key in everything. When it comes to social media, um, the key to gaining an audience and then keeping your audience. You know what I'm saying? People gravitate towards you for certain reasons and they also gravitate away from you for certain reasons. So, um, um, you want them, you, when you get them, you want to keep them. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm using my train of thought because um, it's kind of off the dome. I didn't really plan like a script, but I did do my steps. So I go off, I make me a weekly social media schedule. I call it my entrepreneur week of success. You can call yours whatever you want to. Um, so basically, I have people that I follow, you know what I'm saying, whose pages that I see consistently. Of course, the way Instagram algorithm is set up, the places that people go to frequently, like, they want to see, sometimes they might search them in. Those are the posts they're going to see when they log onto Instagram. If that person posts on their page, it's going to show up upon opening of the app. Their story is gonna show up first in their storyline. You know what I'm saying? So you want to be that person that people want to see their content. I mean, want to see your content. You wanna be that person because that way, they're gonna always look for you to the point where they don't have to look for you anymore. They just, you pop up. So, getting to that point is consistency. So, for instance, I'll use my horoscope um, people that I follow. I follow certain uh, brujas and um, astronomers, um, you know, whatever they may call themselves. And on certain days, you know, they post. So, of course, I go look for their page on those certain days for them their posts because I know it's coming. To the point now, I don't have to. When I open my Instagram, if they, when they post it, it's up. Like, really, most times within 10 minutes of them posting, because I'm really in and out my app, as we most are. Um, so with that being said, having a consistency on your social media. So you don't want to be on there on one week, you posting three times a week. You post it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But then next week, you don't post at all. So it's like, okay, the people who was digging your posts last week when you did Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they back looking for you this week, but you ain't post nothing. You off the dome now. They done found somebody else that's doing it. So now they not looking for your post no more because you weren't consistent. They were thinking that you're gonna be doing this every week, but you're not. So you want, once you start something, you gotta keep doing it. Like I'm even learning that myself. Let me turn down this long hill before I get copyrighted because I feel like y'all can hear it too clear. She gets a little passionate and a little volume kind of goes up. So let's get into it. So Mondays, I have where I, um, my Mondays, I don't usually post nothing business-wise. I just do like my regular, um, like Mondays are my cleaning days. I call it my Sabbath day. Um... That's the day I prepare for the week. I don't really do it on Sunday. Sundays are my still days. I don't work. I don't prepare for my week on Sundays. I just rest my body and I'm still. Wherever the day takes me, that's where I go. I don't plan. If I end up just laying around, if I end up watching TV, if I end up touring around Houston, whatever, that's what I do on Sundays. Mondays is when I plan for my week. So I write down where I'm at currently in my business. And um, like who are my current clients, how many I have, where I'm at with them, have I sent their list, have I followed up with their list, have we started touring, have I scheduled tours, shit, stuff like that. Um, 
And then I go and look at my weekly goal. Okay, so where do I want to be at by the end of the week, client-wise, as far as number of clients and progress with my clients? Then I fill in the in-between. This is where I'm at right now. This is where I want to be at the end of the week. So this is what I need to be doing this week. So I schedule. This person, Monday, I need to, who I need to text. Tuesday, who am I taking on a tour? Stuff like that. Tuesdays, I inform 10 people about my business, whether it be um, DMing them on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or something, whether I send out emails to people who email addresses I have or whether I give them my business card. 10 people who do not already follow me. Most times, if they already follow you, they know what they know what you do. They're either using your services or they plan to use your services or they don't plan to use your services, you know? So don't focus so much on your current followers. They're going to see your content. You need to focus on people who do not follow you. So you can go to your people's mutual friends. Like if you have a lot of mutual friends with one person, like say my friends, we might have like, wait, no, I'm not saying it right because they mutual, they already follow you. Huh? I will go on my friend's page and see who might relate to, you know, Instagram, sometimes I offer them too, like, oh, you may know this person. Like those people, follow them. Don't be scared to follow people. And honestly, even though it may seem weird and it may seem spammy, hell, DM them. Who knows? It ain't going to hurt you. They either going to just read your message and ignore it, like your message or not open your message or whatever. But follow them. Say, hey. I'm a realtor. I'm an apartment locator. If you're anybody you ever know is moving, check out my page. I post a lot of content. You can text me, DM me, whatever. It's not hard. I mean, this might come out weird. It's weird to me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a shy person, but I kind of just swallow that. It's like my guy. Either you want people to know what you do, or you don't. Either you want clients, or you don't. You want to be shy, or you want to pay your rent. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, um, I call it free consultation day. Now with that, some of you may already do free consultations. I personally, I don't charge a lot, but that just shows you how serious someone is. If someone wants to speak with me and just discuss like whatever in real estate that they may want to do, be like, okay, $10, you know what I'm saying? Phone call, $5. You know, I'm throwing those amounts out. Of course they're petty, but you can do 20 or whatever you feel like it. I personally, I would do 20 as a minimum because you do five, it's like, okay, but you can pick your amount for your consultation. But anyway, Wednesday is my free consultation days. So this is the day where you can pick at me. Of course, I have limitations on that. Um, I'm not driving to meet you anywhere for free. But we can text and we can do a five-minute phone call. Um, anything beyond that is a paid consultation. But that's just a little advertising thing I do. Thursdays, um, I have on here that I'm going to post an ad, share it on all my platforms. Completely business. This is what I do. Fridays, I do my tips. Fun facts, tips that relate to my business or whatever. Post a little video like this. Of course, it'll be a shorter clip, but it would just be like some information some people can learn from. A little freebie. Saturdays, um, that's when I go into my personal entertainment, you know, like, and that's when it comes with being consistent with your work. Like I'm the type of, I'm an adventurous person. I like to hang out, I like to have fun. So on Saturdays, you know, I'm going to post something entertaining. It may be me. Um, like we went to post Oak Houston, me, my baby, my friend last week, I would, you know, post some snippets of that recorded on my story. Just something that you also are a real person too. And it's not like you just pushing ads because that's, annoying it's like you know so it, it builds that consistency like they like watching your lifestyle as much as they is keeping them there and they're seeing your business too it's not just like ad after ad after ad because it's like at this point it's like watching a commercial no one likes commercials um yeah that's why we pay for netflix even though it's not expensive because we don't like commercials and we just want to get straight to it but whatever um that's a sensitive topic for me um yeah just share some insights on your life this is just my schedule of course and then on sundays i do like wellness tips and stuff like that just self-care things self-love just self 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 selfish sundays um and yeah 
that's my schedule. I use this so I can stay consistent with my content because the whole point of this, I'm just saying consistency is key. And I want people to know that like, if they are looking for, like if I have somebody that's waiting on Wednesday for my free consultations, they're gonna know, they're gonna be waiting on me to say on Wednesday, all right, it's time, free consultation. They're gonna come back to my page. You get what I'm going with this? That's it. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Of course, um, I also, I'm not going to lie, I love talking about this stuff and I really love mentoring serious people and I will literally do it for free. So if ever you feel like you want some free mentorship or something like that, like literally contact me, but I'm really going to go off of how serious you are and I'm going to know that by our conversation. So just FYI, I'm not just going to jump out and mentor you just to say, hey, can you mentor me? Like I'm going to talk to you and I'm going to see like. Is this going to be a waste of my time? And also a waste of your time because don't waste your time and for sure don't waste mine because time is literally money. Literally. While I'm talking to you, when you really ain't serious about what you're trying to do, I could be talking to somebody else that is, baby. So, yeah.